20 shots counted. That was 84.02 with a delay of 20.95. I'll look for the spine scope and see how many hits on target. There's a pretty decent crosswind down the target there. I think it's blowing around 50 kilometers an hour today. All right, so that's the three attempts I made today in this beautiful winter's day here in southern Alberta, Canada. Uh, this is my first attempt that I did and I wasn't very fast because I hadn't shot in a while. And I did try originally using a sling on this rifle to try and like pucker up, you know, keep the rifle tight to my body. Uh, see if that would help with my freehand accuracy. And uh, I noticed when I came down here that a lot of my bullets had strung cut away to the left and I believe that wasn't just the wind because I was holding, uh, I knew to compensate from the wind or compensate for the wind in the beginning so I was holding here most of the time. So I figured that uh, because the sling attaches to the barrel on these guns, that's the way the checks designed it, uh, I figured that me pulling on it tightly might actually be impacting the, the the impact point. So I took it off. It wasn't really helping me stabilize anyways. Uh, and then I shot again without the sling. Did a lot better. Um, but I noticed I was still getting quite a few to the left of the target. So I said, well, third time might be the charm. And I held even further right for the final target here. And I just focused a lot more on my, my aim. But then I made sure I wasn't wasting too much time trying to aim. 
and it seemed to have paid off. I got right here, um, starting from the top, I got one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's, they're so clustered in there, it's going to be hard for me to count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, that's why I counted the first time. Seventeen hits, and we got eighteen, nineteen, twenty down here. So, um, and I quickly did a calculation on the time there using that shot timer, and it worked out to around sixty-three seconds. So uh, the, the two of those combined gives me a score somewhere in the 130s. Uh, of course, after this, this shot here, I'll throw in the actual data. And of course, the Cabin Fever Challenge uh, umpires or the guys who are hosting the different classes, they'll actually take the footage and calculate my score themselves. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that score, 130. The goal this year was to beat Q Sun. Q Sun is my tricked out Type 81. That I used uh, for the cabin fever challenge last year in the limited class and I scored around 114 I believe which actually was I was quite happy with that for that gun because it's a very barbaric gun only 5 m MOA uh, when it comes to accuracy and I've on the online forums I've been ranting quite a bit on there about how the type 81 is a cool gun I love it but uh, the VZ 58s are vastly superior firearm in terms of performance so of course saying things like that I absolutely have to beat the Type 81 in the Cabin Fever Challenge and I did so that makes me very happy. Uh, so now I'm gonna go warm up in my cabin and and start shooting the the footage for my muzzleloader class attempt. I'll be shooting that tomorrow if the weather's not too windy.